Hello Barracudas and welcome to BSR. I'm Reagan Fortner. And I'm Jackson Curtis. We've had a lot of sports here at Beachside, but with set off with three set victories, the volleyball team has continued to crush it lately. We sure have, and now we head to our volleyball insider, Spike Lee. Hey, great to be here. The volleyball team started the week against an 11-2 Matanzas team and won two sets to none for JV three, and three sets to none for Varsity. Adriana Jean-Pierre led us to the victory. She killed it with 15 kills. We then played against Bishop Kenny, where sadly JV lost and Varsity dropped our second match of the season, three sets to one. Molly Van Dusen had 20 assists and Macy Williams had 27 digs, but it unfor and unfortunately wasn't enough. Dang, well, how did we do at the Invitational this weekend? Yeah, it's not all bad news. We crushed it at the Elizabeth Bush Invitational. We beat Providence, Ridgeview, Episcopal, Ponte Vedra, and Jupiter to go 5-0 and as tournament champions, and John Pierre was named to the all-tournament team. Wow, excellent. Thank you, Spike. And congratulations to both of our volleyball teams. In other news, our golf team has been perfection. Joining us for more on the golf teams, Sandy Bunker. Sandy, how have the golf teams been playing lately? Just wonderful, Jackson. The girls team had a match at Sequoia Creek and sealed another victory, making us undefeated on the season. We won 147 to 249, and senior Maddie Rafton led the way with a low 35. Boys team just did just as well. They played in the Jacksonville Beach Invitational on the 16th and crushed it, coming in third place overall, with senior Nolan Harper winning individual. Way to go, Barracudas. Thank you, Sandy, and congrats to our boys and girls golf team. Moving from the putting green to the running scene, let's talk about some cross country. For more on the sport, here's Finn Ishline. Thanks, Reagan. Great to be here. The cross country team had the Bale and Trail meet at Bartram last week. The JV boys sadly didn't place, but the JV girls placed 12th with a 305. For our varsity teams, our boys placed 27th with a 749, and our girls did even better playing 20th with a 532. They have a big meet coming up in Tallahassee, so good luck to all of our great Barracudas. Thank you, Finn. We now go to news on our JV football team. They did absolutely incredible last Thursday. They had zero turnovers, and we didn't get a single point scored on us, so our record remains undefeated. Admittedly, it probably does help. It was our bye week. But who did play this week was our varsity football, and honestly, they did just as good, if not better, as those JV stats. We played the Bridgeview Panthers in a neon-themed home game Friday, and then turned into a glow-out blowout. Right in the first quarter, Bryce G catches two different touchdown passes, one of which a 40-yard dime from Eddie Jordan, putting Beachside up 14 to nothing. But that was just the first six minutes. We're just warming up. G catches another 17-yard pass before Jordan finds Drew Watson in the end zone for a 22-yard touchdown. The extra point is blocked, and it's 20 to nothing. Barracuda's winning. We swap empty possessions before Ridgeview finally starts playing the drive together, but we stopped them on third round, so they go for the field goal and miss it. So it's still 20 to nothing, and that takes us to half. Immediately following halftime, and Cohen Beebe catches a 42-yard touchdown pass. The extra point is good, and it's 27 to zero. Then the Panthers get the ball, but that lasts for like two seconds because number 30 recovers a fumble, making it first and goal for Beachside. It's followed up by yet another touchdown pass to BB. The extra point is good, and it's 34 to nothing, Beachside up. Then we recover another fumble, this time on special teams, and Gavin Cooper recovers it, giving us the ball on their 24. And then a 14-yard touchdown pass, this time not from Jordan, but from Brick Balsita, or my nickname for him I strongly hope gets started, from BB Gun. The extra point is good, and it's 41 to zero, Beachside. Our defense still won't give Ridgeview nothing, and they have to punt again, giving us the ball at our 23, and we start putting a drive together as the third quarter comes to a close. We have a 12-yard run from Kate Gines and then a 19-yard scramble from Balsita. We then convert on, a, convert on a fourth and one, and later convert from another third and make it one to finish, first and goal. And Marco Lanza finishes it off with a touchdown catch. It's now 48 to nothing, Beachside. And purely because 50 to zero sounds way more impressive than 48, Matthew Colazos gets a safety to end the game. And so that's the score. Your Barracudas win in shutout fashion, 50 to nothing, not a none, nil, zip, zero, zilch, cusick. Don't forget Bubkiss. Ah, uh, yes, Bubkiss. Think about this for a second. Even if you multiplied Bridgeview's score by 5 million, they still would have lost by 50. To put it in perspective, the Panthers scored the same number of points as the number of people who still wear socks and flip-flops. They scored the same number of points of Broncos fans who didn't cry on Sunday. They scored the same number of points as my current grade in algebra. They scored the same number of points of people who prefer oatmeal raisin cookies. They scored the same number of points as the amount of live parents Bambi has. They scored the same number of points as the number of dinosaurs still left on Earth. They scored the same number of points as the number of minutes left in this podcast. We actually are running out of time.
But congratulations to the football team for their absolutely outstanding victory. For BSR, I'm Jackson Curtis. And I'm Reagan Fortner. See you next week, Barracudas.